All right. Earth element, spleen, stomach. When we do this movement, the real key part of the movement is when we bring the arms up and around. So we inhale, remember folding into the hips, increasing the flow of chi through the sacrum, through the lower belly. The first version is yin, so we're soft, letting go worry. And then the elbows come out wide. Okay, so from this angle, this happens. Making a diamond shape. And as you inhale and reach up, You'll extend through the palms, extend through the elbows, drop the shoulders, tuck the tailbone. So as we raise the hands, we're creating space in the organs, helping to stretch all the suspensory ligaments inside the intercostals, the spleen, the stomach. And then as you exhale, the elbows come in, shoulders down, it's like our fin fingertips are glossing through this waterfall. The bottom, the hands connect. Feel the chi ball, hold the earth, inhale across, folding into the hips. Exhale, palms face Mother Earth. Now we fold into the hips again. Elbows widen, making that diamond shape. And you'll feel as you inhale this stretch through the rib cage holding the sun while the tailbone drops, imagining your torso is like a towel, you're wringing it out. And as you look up, okay, so this first part we look up, this helps increase the proprioception and increase our balance and stability. So when we look through the arms, the shoulders stay down, as you rotate to the left, it stimulates the right hemisphere of the brain and then elbows come down and in. So this movement's gonna really help with people who have balance issues. And then we go to the other side. And it's like a wind up, boom. Do a Qigong drive by. Do, 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 do. Shoulders down, sink down. Notice how my hips sink. Inhale across the body. Exhale down. Stretching up, down, just like so. That's the first part. Second part is the yang. So now we're building more chi. The movement is very similar, but the arms are, there's a couple subtle shifts. Inhale, at the side, feeling that nice twist through the spine. Inhaling, the left hand, I'll be your mirror. Left hand pulls back, gathering chi. Exhale, send the chi to the other hand and begin to move once you feel the energy from left to right, okay? At the side, now we inhale, expand the hands like our hands are glossing over this large sphere of light. I often envision the earth. And then keep the head level this time. Extend through the palms, stretch through the intercostals, lift the ribs, drop the tailbone, Squeezing through. So this prevents prolapse of the organs as we age. And then we pull down, arcing, adjusting through the wrists. Palm, connecting palm at the bottom. Inhale, come across. Pull back that right hand. Exhale, send the chi from one side to the other. Tailbone drop down like an anchor. Rotating on your central axis, folding into the hips. Inhale, pulling chi like taffy, then rounding the earth. Shoulders down as you press up, holding the sun. Extend through your crown. So we're also strengthening the spine, opening up all the inner fascia and all the connective tissue in the spine. Inhale, pull down. Exhale, connect the palms. So this is great for helping improve your digestion and creating more chi and blood flow through the stomach, even the large intestine. And it allows space for your organs because we're often sitting down, driving, so our organs get very compressed. When we lift and twist, 
now we're creating more space for the organs to breathe, allowing blood flow, chi, oxygen. And when you do this practice, remember, every time you do the breath work, allow that breath to guide your movement, okay? Don't go faster than the breath. All right, practice. See you real soon.